Okay, I'm going to uh, very quickly show you a, a brief video on um, this on deck baseball uh, helper that I created. I'm really not, I'm going to make this as short as possible. I'm going to go through the tabs. Uh, I'm going to show you just a few things and, and then that's uh, about it. Most, most of what you need to know um, is I'm going to have little um, help things throughout um, the helper itself. This first page, and I'll go through these tabs here, this is just uh, an introduction. Uh, this second page is um, where you actually play the game. Um, um, really, it's you just have to play with this. Um, I'll, I'll show you, especially in here, uh, how this works with the base running. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only die roll I have here is um, the batter pitcher confrontation, so I can I can. Um, immediately see whether it's uh, pitch or batter. Um, and then here, this, I have a little note up here. You don't want to touch anything here. The only thing you want to do is um, change the teams. So, and that'll all fill in um, like that. Um, I have two blank teams in here. Um, the the rosters aren't filled in, and you can I can show you um, where you do that. Uh, the next page. This really has to do with the uh, batter pitcher confrontation. Just gathering some numbers uh, on advantages and stuff. Uh, this will work if you decide to use that single die, uh, better uh, pitcher better confrontation roll. Uh, if you don't, then it's just it's not going to work, and you'll miss some of the automated stuff on sheet one. Um, this uh, this is really my own here, and these these populate. Um, or actually, they don't populate. It's it's you add them to the uh, team rosters uh, just to track injuries uh, for my own um, collection data collection. Um, this I have a note here. Uh, I would not touch this, and this is just the bunt chart, and that just rolls like that. If you want to use it, it's here. Um, there's the matrix. These are the poise charts. Since they're since they're universal to to the pitchers, uh, I was able to do this. Uh, unless you want to change these, uh, I would not touch that. Uh, here are the team uh, sheets. Um, this is where you make all changes. If you're going to do any tracking, you do it in here. I mean, I just put an X in here, um, say uh, Knight has one there, you just, just type it in there like that. And then if you go over uh, to here and say we pick the Bulls, um, that's going to show up right there. You don't want to touch any of this. Um, there's a few things you can do on this main sheet but you don't want to touch uh, any of that. So that's for tracking. And um, if you need to change the um, ratings, then you do it right here. A lot of times, if because of injuries and things, um, I will, uh, if something is changed, uh, I just highlight it in green so I remember that. This, this right here is goes back to um, the sheet with uh, the injuries. 
um, this sheet and it doesn't refer to this but this um, I get the information and then I put it in here so if Bryant say he had an injury and I don't know how you track injuries but this is the way I do it on here um, say he's out for um, I don't know 10 games so I would just put INJ for that and then um, say I do it by num number and the, the game number in the entire season so I would just put an injury 98 for that um, and then if you go back to the sheet you see that that just as populated in there. You don't touch anything in here. You put it on the team sheets. Uh, and then, I mean, if it comes down to uh, fully rested, I just put an FR there for status. And then I put, say, game 123 there. And then, of course, if you go back here, you see that's in here. So that's how that works. And the team sheets are all the way down. This don't pay attention to. That's just uh, game day scratches that I um, use. Um, there's the, there, there. Um, there's the drillers. There's the hornets. Um, and then the wolves and the comets. I don't have these teams so it's just blanked out and you could just enter that information and then it would uh, end up uh, populating it when you pick these teams um, all the way down to this my own scheduling game number I use it um, for tracking injuries and stuff uh, this sheet uh, I these are the base running uh, that I use uh, in here. I would not touch this unless you want to alter things. Uh, these are just here. They don't even have to be here, but just in case, because I am always checking uh, periodically at least um, to make sure I got these numbers correct. And then sheet four, uh, this is refers back to the bunt chart um, and all the rest of it is uh, information I was playing with something over here and there's the durability that I just put that there in case I have to refer to it so that that's really the way that works um, here um, these, th this is how, um, if you want to move a batter, uh, and, and this is where you can do some editing. Um, you're not really adding anything unless you add stuff down here. I'll show you that. And this is just to move. Um, if, if you wanted to take Moody and replace him with uh, uh, Lindstrom, uh, I just, to make it easier, uh, I click them both, control the second one, and then you just swap it like that. Uh, that's the way um, I do that. It's just easier. These are pull down uh, things. You could do it that way, but using the swap macro, and there are macros in this, um, that, that is much easier. Um, I don't touch, I, just, if you touch any of this, you're going to run into problems. Um, as for pitching, um, that all populates in here. Um, let's just change. Um, let's see where we'll just change this to the Gators. Um, all this information just goes into here. You really don't have to much worry about it. This will change automatically. Um, but uh, the, whoever is going to be pitching, you want them in that one slot. So 
And if you decide to bring Horsford in, again, uh, click, and then you swap them like that, and then that will all populate into here, into here, as you can see that will, that changes. That's how that works, and just, just play with it if you're going to use it and see what you think. Um, the only actual editing or putting in information is here. If Edwards gets a, um, there's his poise chart. Say he's going on the happy side and he rolls a five and he gets a one. You just put a one in there and that will change that. Um, and then if he loses a point somehow that changes there. Um, that's how that works. Again, if you're going to move a pitcher out, say you're going to bring uh, Ortiz in, then you got to swap those and then make sure you swap that number there because that is used, I use it at the end of the game uh, for the fatigue points. So that is how that works. Um, up here, this is just for different positions. Uh, Moody's second position is uh, center field. He doesn't have a third position, so he plays his primary is uh, center and secondary is left, and that will change everything in there. Um, this is nothing, just, just the roles, just so I can remember those. Um, here is the um, batter pitcher confrontation, and this is what I do. I just, I, I, I don't, you can roll the dice if you want. Um, sometimes I do. I always use this for batter pitcher because it, it makes things easier. But say Moody is up, um, Edwards is, uh, as soon as you, um, move this, you see Bowerman, he's in the one slot, have to have your pitcher in that one slot, and then you just click on this, and it'll tell you, it's a 10, 6, so that's a batter card, this just counts up how many batter uh, confrontations were won, and then I, I simply roll this to get the um, matrix on where the ball goes and what happened, and this where you know uh, where the ball goes down there, just like you normally play it. So that's how that works. Um, so Bryant comes up next. Boom, pitcher roll. That's the way that works on both sides. Um, you don't want to touch anything in here. Uh, this will just take you back to the beginning. Um, say Lucas was up and again it shows you um, this is power here and it just shows you uh, what his um, chances of getting a, a batter card uh, is it would be 3 to 10 so he actually got 10 so that's a batter card boom do that okay so that is that um, the thing that 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 Well, error charts, if, if the information is all here if, if you need it to be. Um, of course, these folks use the arms sometimes and, and fielding sometimes, and that's, that's built into it. Uh, if you just want to check an error, say, um, you would go to this first part here and just change that. So ball hit to the third baseman, it'll just show you um, his error chart. Um, just just play with that. Uh, basically here, if a catcher, just say that uh, we got a guy with a four speed on uh, first, and he wants to steal, he gets the jump. Um, the catcher, or he has a three speed, is a uh, one arm, uh, the chances of that person stealing is a 
six. And I'm always checking these. I'm pretty sure they're right in most cases. I mean, if they work for one, they're going to work for all players. So, you know, there's, there might be some errors in here. But I, I usually am checking them all the time. I don't know. I've played like 60 games with this with this helper. Now, in a situation where the ball goes to, say, the right, uh, the left fielder out here, runners at second and happens to be a single. So you get this up on the left fielder. Um, and then you're, you're looking in here, of course, the way the charts are set up on the back of the, uh, the back of the cards. Um, so if you're, if you're looking, say, to risk third there, uh, and your runner was a four, there's your chances, eight to 10. So only a 30% chance. And these are all better uh, safe chances. Um, if, if you get a five, you're, you're, it goes up, um, say, um, you're going to home from second, uh, you would go to this first row. So you would take that up there. So if you have a runner with a five speed, and you hit the left field, and you have him, uh, Ramey, with an arm of four, um, you have a 60% chance of making it as a runner. That's the way that works. Um, this is for double plays, typically. Um, what will happen here, say it's, um, I don't know, um, second base, uh, so it's a, it's a six, four, three, um, or a four, six, three double play. This will automatically default to that. And again, if you just play with this, um, you'll see how it works. Um, and you shouldn't have any problem with it uh, after you, you've done it for a while. But here we have, and again, we're going to have to go down for the double play. We're going to be on this third row here. And you see that the second baseman has a three uh, fielding. So you really want to take this to three if you want it to highlight. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can just look here and, and figure out what's going on. But if you have a person, um, it's on second and has a, or on first and has a five speed, um, they have a 40% chance of beating out the throw to second on the first part of the double play. And of course, this would go down, 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 all the way to out for a person with the one speed. Uh, then you would just go to row four, and this is the shortstop on, on that. And I have this little grid here just to remind myself how that goes. And there would be the chances all the way through with the shortstop with a five fielding rating. Uh, that, that's really all uh, I, I, I want to show. I was going to run a little game, but maybe in another time. I don't want this to be, to try to explain things too much. Um, you will, um, the more you play it, you'll get used to it. Now, whether you like it or not is, of course, um, up to you. Uh, but um, check it out um, and see what you think. Well, thanks for listening.